tuning to 145.80 and... This is Mission Control. Welcome back, crew. Job well done. <laughs> we did it. Thanks to your idea, T-Dubs. T-W? Tessa Wallace. Awesome. I've never had a cool nickname before. Yeah, <laughs> show me some love, nice. Zach Dog. Dude, don't beat yourself up. Can't win them all. There was something about that random ping that might not be so random. The radio was originally tuned to 406 megahertz. The distress signal frequency used in ground and search rescue missions. My moms and I learned about a hack in the Grand Canyon. Proud to say we didn't need it. Though, locating a bathroom was a whole nother story. That signal was strong. Like, it's coming from somewhere around here. I have no plans for tonight. You? You were right, Cam. This is definitely a distress call. In fact, it's Morse code for SOS. Wow, I knew the signal was strong, but spacing spacement? That's super close. And SOS is really simple to send. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. Well, I want to dash, dash, dash right out of here. This place gives me the creeps. It does look totally deserted. Adri, can I borrow your nail polish flashlight? Mm -hmm. No one's been down here in forever. This old maintenance log's last update was 1965. Addison, pull up Spacing's building schematics from that year. On it! Using your fingerprinting kit to dust for prints? No. I'm using my perfume automizer to block out the stale order in here. This hallway smells like my Uncle Paolo's feet. Upload the schematics box. His basement used to be part of a Cold War era bomb shelter. And I think I found the way in. Looks like the door's the only thing in this hallway not covered in dust. Which means someone's been down here. Or in there. I just need a bobby pin. Please tell me he's asleep and he's not- <laughs> The work! Professor Kato? Wow, can't believe Tech Fair's here already. This year, it's mine. <laughs> What's doing, camouflage? <laughs> Justin, it's Cameron Coyle. For the millionth time. Signing up for the Tech Fair, I see. I'm surprised you're up for it after last year's embarrassing defeat. The only thing embarrassing was losing to a guy whose best friend is a mirror. Whoa, whoa, hold up there, Chamomile. Don't be such a sore loser. <laughs> Why don't you save yourself the pain of failing? I know how sensitive you can be. Sensitive. Justin, this year my girls and I have something epic in store. Oh, really? You and your little spy club? <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're... building our own car. And it runs on water. Please. Not only that, it's top speed will kick your... Hey, how about we just keep the rest a surprise? The guy's such a jerk. Cam signed us up for the tech fair. Apparently, we're building a water-powered car. Uh, okay, well, I'm glad you chose something easy. Shouldn't be underestimated. We're not just bedazzled, we're bedazzling. Hey, girls, can you try and kick the ball back? You can do it. <laughs> Use all your big girl muscles. <laughs> I got this. I worked at 
in Brazil. I played a lot of football. Yay! Bye-bye! Hi. Hello. Uh, I saw you outside uh, just before. Um, I'm Kyle. Uh, I, I just wanted to say, um, yeah, really nice kick out there. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, a spinning ball deflects the air rushing by it, and the air responds by deflecting the ball through the curve. It's called the Magnus Effect. The tree was 22 feet from Justin, so traveling at 50 miles per hour, he only had 0.3 seconds to respond. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I will see you, um, later. Bye. Demand. We're running an online iris scanning program. Now scan the HI for its unique characteristics. Like fingerprints. Or a custom made couture gown. No two irises are the same. Neither are these. These irises are from two different people. Xander's not a clone, but a double. They could try and sabotage the presentation. Michaela could be in danger. We need to get to Maywood Glen Tech like 10 minutes ago. Don't worry, Agent DeMarco, I've got your back. Thanks. I feel better already. Look, Prince Sander, I'm sorry for being blunt, but you cannot talk to my friend Kyle that way. It's rude, and I'd like you to apologize. Would you? You said you've changed. Well, you have, but not for the better. Maybe our people are right. You're not ready to lead them. You know, I can see why Xander liked having you around. Why Xander wanted me around? That's it. You're not the prince, are you? Oh, wait, what the? Ow! Wait, what is going on? Who are you? I knew it. I mean, I didn't know it was Wendell, but I knew the prince wasn't himself. Do you like it? It's the latest in hyper-realistic latex masks. Rather remarkable, don't you think? But why? You said you didn't even want to be king. Oh, please. You bought that. Who would want to be king? Like my moronic brother deserves it? I'm tired of living in his party boy's shadow. He's not worthy of being king, but I am. Mm. Darling, Xander, mm. that's how tape works. Mm. You're not supposed to be able to talk. To help mm. of Jennings here, I've held Xander hostage while I've masqueraded around town ruining his image. Mm. Now I'm going to light up today's presentation. When the backpack plugs into the power station, I've rigged it to backfire, frying both it and whoever wears it. Kyle. Yes, yes. Your simple commoner will now be a simple ball of flame. The handcuffs have a time release. I will exit stage left while the prince shows up and is conveniently blamed for everything. I'll never let you hurt Kyle. That is what's so fun. I didn't hurt Kyle. The prince did. And maybe if he's lucky, I'll give him a royal pardon when I'm crowned king. Oh, and uh, you might need this for later. And yes, I borrowed it so you can't call for help. I am a clever one, aren't I? <laughs> Ow! Everybody set? Let's do this. I've hacked into the electrical system and overridden the locks. As soon as Maddie and whoever she's working with are inside, we'll be on lockdown. Adri? And if they try to run, I'll coat the exits with my glue solution of milk, white vinegar, and baking soda. I'll stop them in their tracks. Cam? Wait. Whoa! Okay. Vivian, come. Love the fur touch. 
Vivian will patrol the perimeter, and later she'll impress Simon enough to land me an internship. Ooh, yeah. Double check your earbuds. Remember, they're wireless and noise canceling, but we'll still be able to keep in contact. I upgraded them to include radio frequency transmitters and receivers. Awesome. Who are you guys? You can't be cops, right? It's not important who we are, Eli. All that matters here is if you want to cut back on prison time, you follow the plan. On your cue, I'll cut the lights and we'll go infrared. Stand by. Eli, you're early. You're never early. I just want to get this over with. So do I. Hi, sis. Don't call me your sister. My sister wouldn't have betrayed me, betrayed all of us. It's over. Oh, really? Bry. That's sweet. You and your friends are throwing me a surprise party. Madison, jam the radio frequency communication channels from 800 megahertz to 5.8 gigahertz. My pleasure, boss. <laughs> Ooh, that's got to hurt. Party's over, girls. Look, I've done what you've asked. I finished the weapon. It's all yours. Vivian, move it! Seriously? Battison, convert to my voice recognition. All yours. Vivian, down. Cute. 